Let's set up GPS spoofing for our iPhone. You need an Apple computer with Xcode installed. Open Xcode. Go to File, New, Project. Select iOS app or the simplest option available. Click Next. Type in a product name for your app. For organization identifier, start with C-O-M dot and then any name you choose. Click Next. You can uncheck the repository box for fun. Choose any suitable location for saving your project, such as your desktop. Click Create. Select your project file from the list on the left-hand side. Click on Signing and Capabilities. Add Account. Log in using your Apple ID and password. Click Next. Your account is added to the Accounts window, which you may now close. Back in Signing and Capabilities, use the Team dropbox to select your account. Your project is set up. Now let's look at how to change our location. In Xcode, go to File, New, File. Choose the GPX file type. Click Next. Give your file a name if you wish, then click Create. The GPX file is added to your project window and loaded. Notice the latitude and longitude coordinates. You should replace these coordinates with the location that you want to teleport to. Connect your iPhone to your computer using a compatible cable. At the top of the project window, use the Dropbox to select the device that you connected. Press the Play button to build your project. The first time only, you may get an error message. If you trust yourself, you need to go to your iPhone settings and approve yourself as a trusted developer. On iOS 14, this is in Settings, General, Profiles and Device Management. Click on your account. Click on Trust. Twice. Back in Xcode, you can press the play button to build your project again. This time, it will launch on your device. A new menu pops up at the bottom of Xcode while your app is running. Click on the Location icon. You can choose from several options for simulating your iPhone's location, including the GPX file that you just created. Select your GPX file from the list. Your iPhone is now operating as if it is in this exact location. You can verify this using the Maps app. Here's my original location in Maps. The app gets launched. I select my GPX file to change the location. Back in Maps, you can see that my location has changed. To keep this location indefinitely, I can unplug my device right now. My location will not reset until after I power down the phone and restart it again. On the other hand, I can also keep the iPhone connected to the computer. As soon as I stop running the app in Xcode, my location will change back to where I actually am, almost instantly. When you open Pokemon Go, you'll be in whatever location you set using Xcode. Here's a little demonstration. On my first try, I was short of the stop and couldn't reach it. I modified my location and jumped a bit closer. Ah, that's better. I can reach the stop now and catch Pokemon there. You can use this setup to transport yourself anywhere in the world. Join a friendly community of gamers who love Pokemon games and sharing with others. Support the growth of our community and the development of more high-quality content by visiting our shop at shop.wishmaker.com.